Hello, this is Bern, and if you're wondering why some men really overpromise and underdeliver, well, you're in luck because I'm going to be discussing all of this in our episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And the reason why I'm so excited today is because I'll be sharing with you something that impacts so many women today. I, I don't care where you're from, how old you are, shape, color, size, anything. This is something that has probably impacted you or somebody really close to you. And here's what it is. You connect with a guy and at some point the chemistry feels out of this world he tells you you're the most unique, beautiful, amazing woman he's ever met in his life. He's never felt this way about anyone and you feel the same way. Now, after this happens, he then goes on to say he wants to create a future together, he wants to marry you, he wants to have children with you, he wants to take it to the 20th level before really knowing you. The challenge is that most women get hooked on this and then when the guy wakes up from his uh, heightened state of uh, sleep, then you, he, 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 he can't fulfill his promises and you feel devastated because you actually took him for his word. So what I'll be talking with you right now is four reasons why this happens and more importantly, what the hell you can do about this, okay? Number one, the reason why a lot of guys do this, contrary to popular belief, is because the moment they say it, they actually feel this is true. I'm gonna give you an analogy so you really understand this, okay? So keep this analogy in mind next time this happens to you. I have a six-year-old child and it would not be far-fetched to go inside a candy store for my six-year-old child to say, I want all the fucking candy right now. If you buy it for me, I will eat it right now. So, okay, let's say he wants, I don't know, 20 lollipops. And you, let's say I was silly enough to buy him 20 lollipops. Guess what would happen? At the, at the end of the first one, the middle of the second one, he'd say, oh, I'm done, this is too much, eh, it's too much, I want some water, right? But the moment he told me he wanted 20 fucking lollipops, he really believed himself. So that's what happens with guys sometimes. They connect with something about you, they feel intensity, they want to feel excited, you want to feel excited, so the conditions are ripe for, some, for something to happen, but he doesn't necessarily have sometimes the capacity to fulfill the height of that expressiveness in action, right? So the second reason why this happens um, is because whenever he creates this and you create that and there's this level of promises made, the intimacy part happens more quickly. Because here's the truth, you might wait a few weeks, a few months to have intimacy with a dude that is new in your life, but if this is so special and unique, you can bypass all that shit and make it happen today, right? So at some subconscious level, he knows and you know that if this is so unique and special, then you can bypass the regular rules or waiting period and have intimacy a lot earlier. Third reason why this happens is because it intensifies the feeling for both human beings. The moment he says it, he feels more intensity. The moment you react with more intensity, he feels amazing. So it's, it's like a drug, honestly. It's unintentional. He's not saying, I want to feel high right now, but that's really what's going on. You're feeling high, he's feeling high, okay? Sometimes it happens in the context of just life. Sometimes it happens in the context of a void. A void in his life, a void in your life, where this is filling up the lack of excitement and passion in both of your lives, and it's a very quick way to access it. That's the reason. Fourth reason, manipulation, okay? And I'm taking this as the last reason in this short video, because I think that a lot of women go there first. A lot of women say, you know what? The guy was manipulating me the whole time. He was planning this whole thing. He just wanted to have sex with me. And that is not correct. In my experience of connecting with tons of women, there are some guys, I'm gonna say maybe 10%, and I'm arbitrarily picking up this number based on my experience, so the actual number could be different. But in my experience, let's say 10% of the dudes, so maybe 15 tops, where the guy premeditates this whole thing and says, I'm going to act and think this way. He's a game artist, right? He's going to pick you up and make you feel great just for the purpose of having sex with you. The vast majority of you guys, 85 to 90 percent of the guys, are doing it without the intention of hurting you. They just feel that way. They feel like my little six-year-old would feel in the candy store and then they can't fulfill the promise. So 
But the guys who manipulate, yeah, there's a percentage of guys who do it to manipulate because they get a chance to make you feel a certain way and then get what they want. But that's the minority of guys. Because that's the minority of guys, here's what's gonna, and, and sometimes your radar doesn't pick it up. You say, well, I honestly didn't feel, I, I felt he was being honest, right? Because he, he kind of meant it, he just didn't have the power to fulfill it. So here's what to do about it. To, here's what you do. Next time you connect to a guy who, with whom you feel such a great passion of chemistry, and he starts getting ahead of himself by saying things that are absolutely not meant for the length of time you've been together, he doesn't really know you, he knows the idea of you, he knows the idea of a woman who looks like you, but he doesn't really know you, that's the time where you pull on the brakes, in a sense, and not say, hey, you didn't stop him from saying those things, but you, in your mind, you say, okay, here's a six-year-old in the fucking candy store right now. It could be that this guy can fulfill those promises, but I'm going to wait to start investing at the level, to start believing all of this, not because I distrust him, but because I know that it takes time for this to actually pan out. So when the hormones go down and the reality sets in of what he can actually do, that's when you'll get a chance to see, does he really mean business? Is he really showing up for me? Is he really wanting to create a future at the end of second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month? If that's the case, then let's make it happen. But if it lasts a couple of weeks or a month or two months and then it starts dwindling, it's telling you that this is more an infatuation than anything else. Love is something that typically requires depth. And depth doesn't just happen in an instant sometimes. Sometimes it does, but most times it takes time to really get to know someone and get to know their essence, okay? So if you think this is helpful, useful, insightful in some way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on the link somewhere on your screen, you're gonna see a button show up that allows you to sign up to a webinar I'm hosting where I'll be sharing with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less, super powerful stuff, and it's absolutely free. And uh, if you have any questions for me, place a comment below this video or any of my other videos and I'll reply to you personally or create a video just for you. <laughs> Thank you.